The celebrant for this Mass will be Father Kidney. Mass intentions are in for the birthday blessings for Melissa, for birthday blessings for Pac and Lee Pierre, in memory of Leo Stein, Roger Gamboa, Farina Gregory, James Keenan, and Fernando Ramos. The Paschal Candle for 2021 is for all police officers and first responders leaving, living and deceased, and for those affected by COVID-19, living and deceased, requested by the Esposito family. The sanctuary lamp for February is in Thanksgiving, requested by the Emmanuel family. The altar flowers in, thank in Thanksgiving to Our Lady of Lourdes, requested by Rafaeline Dennis. The wine for February is in memory of William Shepherd, requested by Dolores Shepherd. The, can the altar candles for the intentions of the Stein, Klein Rickert, and Trudel families, requested by Sandy. Welcome. Mass will start shortly. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our opening hymn is Table of Plenty. Please rise and greet our celebrant, Father Kidney. Oh, 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 oh. 
Praise the Lord who heals the 
The reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak, I became weak to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. The word of the Lord.
how was it? Especially those of you who went through the coronavirus. But yesterday, I was listening to a lady. She said she had a fever for over a week. Every night, she had to go to, I don't want to say, you know. Simon's mother-in-law had a fever. And here's Jesus entering the house with Simon, with James, John. And he heard about Simon's mother-in-law. And he just went to the room, grabbed her hand, and at the same moment, the fever was gone. They didn't say anything else. We don't know what Jesus said. We don't know if he said any, said any prayer, nothing. But all that we know, the fever was gone, and the lady got up at the same moment, and she was putting herself at their service, to waiting on them. This gospel today is a brief description of a typical day for Jesus. Because throughout his life, he brings the good news to people, he heals the sick, and he does the act, so many acts of charity to everybody. That's what Jesus did throughout his life. And you and I, we claim that we are Jesus' followers. How well do we do what Jesus asks us to do? To spread the word of God. To heal the sick. To be compassionate. Ask yourself this question. Am I a true Christian? If so, I encourage you to give up the good work. The whole picture of the ministry of Jesus is that of three words. Mercy, compassion, and charity. Mercy, compassion, and charity. Always there for the needy, the poor, the neglected, the rejected, those who have no name in the society, those whom the society rejects. Throughout his life, he was always there for these people. We're living in a world full of worries. The world of suffering is all over the place. A world full of sorrows, pains, and troubles. When we are in trouble, when we are having pains, when we have so many souls, who should we go to? His name is Jesus Christ. If you have someone else that you can cut on, good luck. But I would suggest for you to go to Jesus. And I believe that's why you are here this morning. You come in order to heal yourself to ask Jesus to heal you, to cure you. Who knows? To help you with the demons you have in your mind. Everything is possible with the Lord. Jesus again invites you and me 
to come to me. Come to me, all your labor and burden, and I will give you rest. Do not hesitate to come to him. Do your part, and you will take care of the rest. Sometimes we ask, we pray, and nothing works. We should ask ourselves, do we ask in the right way? Let me give you a small example, something easy for you to understand. Especially those of you who have children. Every day, 